This was the welcome received by Diabeto Francis Carré in Burkina Faso at the weekend. If you don't know who that is, well, he's not a trophy winning athlete or a beloved movie star. He's an architect. And what's more, he's the first African and black winner of the Pritzker Architecture Prize, the profession's most prestigious award. I have a feeling of great gratitude and satisfaction as well from seeing that all the efforts that we have produced together, the work that we did together, is recognized and that the people are proud of it and realize that we did a good job. Perret returned to his hometown on Saturday. Yando had no school when he was growing up there. The son of a village chief, he left at a young age to attend a school in a nearby town, the first in his community to receive an education. Back where it all began on Saturday, he visited two schools that he designed. They use generous shade and thick walls to combat the region's crippling heat. Je construis des murs massifs. I build massive walls. De, de masse thermique. A lot speak of thermal mass, but what happens is I build a ceiling on top and I create openings. Then I build a large roof like a treetop, and that roof protects the building against the weather. Mostly rainwater that could destroy the fragile soil walls. It also protects the walls against heat. As the first African to win the prize, he says he feels a responsibility that makes him think of the future. The challenges he sees include the climate and violent conflicts over remaining resources. The challenges also come from the growing population, cities that are growing, how to find solutions to create infrastructures. Kerry splits his time between Burkina Faso and Germany, where he studied and established his practice. He has designed schools, health facilities and public spaces across Africa, Europe and the United States.